Okay, here's your second word problem, second example for related rates. Um, this time we have a spherical balloon, all right? A balloon is being blown up um, at a rate of 800 cubic centimeters per minute. It says, how fast is the radius increasing at the instant the radius is 30 centimeters? So they want the speed of the radius when it's at 30 centimeters. Um, and again, so now you have to determine what formula is required here. So it says a spherical balloon is being inflated at a rate of 800 cubic centimeters per minute. So this is your clue right here. Cubic units is volume, all right? So if it was squared units, you know it would be surface area, but because it's cubic units, you know this is volume. So you need the volume of a sphere. So in some cases for this homework assignment, guys, you might have to Google formulas. So the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. So there's the formula that is required. And keep in mind, you're finding the rate of change or the speed of the radius with respect to time. So we have to go through and take the first derivative with respect to time. So if I take the first derivative of this volume formula, the first derivative of v is one because right, this is v to the first. So you get one, and we took the derivative of v with respect to time. So one dv dt. That equals, now don't panic about pi. You guys should recognize pi is actually a number. It's a symbol for 3.14. So that is not a variable. Don't have to worry about taking the derivative with respect to pi. So 4 thirds pi, that's your coefficient. If I had 5r cubed, the derivative of that would be 15r squared. So you multiply 3 by this leading coefficient. So you're multiplying 3 by this coefficient right here. So when you multiply 3 by 4 thirds pi, you actually get 4 pi. r squared, remember decrease it by 1, but now we just took the derivative of r with respect to time, so we have to write dr dt. So there's the derivative of your volume formula with respect to time. So now again, just like in the first one, I need you guys to look at this formula and, oh sorry, one more thing, we don't really need the one here, all right, so you don't have to write the one. You need to look at this and recognize that you have one, two, three variables. So we're going to list them over here on the side. We have dv dt, we have the radius r, and we have dr, whoops, dt, sorry. So let's figure out what we know and what we're solving for. All right, so it says a spherical balloon is being inflated. So the rate of change of the volume is 800. So isn't dv dt the rate of change of the volume with respect to time? So that's 800. The radius, it says what's the speed of the radius when it's exactly 30? So the radius is 30 centimeters. And it says what is or how fast is the radius changing? So dr dt, the rate of change of the radius with respect to time, there's the speed of your radius. That's what you're solving for. That's what you need to figure out. So your job is to get dr dt all by itself on one side. So let's plug in what we know. So dv dt is 800. That equals four pi times the radius squared. So 30 squared dr dt. So you end up with 800 equals, now 30 squared, isn't that 900, times 4, um, where's my stuff, so 3600 pi dr dt. If I divide both sides by 3600 pi, you get 800 over 3,600 pi, cross these zeros out, and then 8 and 36 are both divisible by 4, so you get 2 over 9 pi. That's your exact answer. So this would be centimeters per minute, all right? That's the speed, centimeters per minute. And keep in mind, radius is linear. 
So you wouldn't put centimeters squared, you wouldn't put centimeters cubed, or radius is linear, so it's just centimeters per minute. Now, if you needed the decimal value for this, obviously do two divided by nine pi, and you get 0 0.071 centimeters per minute in decimal.